Lana. 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 Lana! What? <laughs> Danger zone. Today I want to talk about the television comedy Archer and its different styles of cutting dialogue. Instead of stopping and starting to hit certain beats, episodes will often use dialogue to continuously flow between scenes and will allow what the characters say to drive us through the story. And your shoes! Because how hard is it to poach a goddamn egg properly? Seriously. That's like Eggs 101, Woodhouse. So let's explore the writing techniques employed by show creator slash head writer Adam Reed and how you can use dialogue to create entertaining ways of transitioning from one scene to the next. <laughs> oh, you're, you're still serious. Or am I? The first technique that I want to highlight is what's known as a twisted echo cut, which is where we'll see a subject being discussed by one group of characters, but in the process of cutting or switching to another group, the dialogue appears to be continuing throughout. Here's a typical example. Hello. So that's your idea of a break, huh? Oh, Cyril, it's not what it looks like! Well then, what is it? Okay, so... Notice how both context and subject have changed, but an element of the last conversation has been carried over to echo the words used by two characters in different situations. When used in Archer, this can often create a humorous juxtaposition of two events. We'll just see what Ms. Archer has to say about this Nazi beeswax. Fine! Or, you know... Not fine. Because between the cancer and the chemo and the just shit tons of weed... Ooh, actually, yeah, good idea. Let's hang back a second, burn one down. No. The next style of cutting dialogue is a variation of what's called two scenes, one dialogue, where even though a transition will occur, the dialogue on the same subject will continue between the scenes. Here's an example. Hooray! And if you want to get schlots into you, Phrasing. you better start eating strudel. What? Major chubby chaser. Well, a lot of that's muscle. Let's hope not. Because you get pretty strong arms growing up on a dairy farm. Unlike the twisted echo cut, the two scenes are actually discussing a topic that's common to both, and in my opinion, its use in Archer often sells the feeling that these characters are connected as one family. Come on, they think I'm a lot of really shitty things. But he is not a double agent. Are you retarded? Come on. Well, he's an idiot and a shit bird. Well then, how do you explain this? Next, we have the use of a trope known as the answer cut, which is where a character will pose a question and then a cut to the next scene occurs to reveal an answer. Well, no. Aren't Terminators asexual? Not when I'm done with him. Come on, how's that even supposed to? <gasps> Fit inside another human being. While sometimes these scenes are related, in the case of Archer, more often than not there will be twisted cases of where a question is asked, but the answer isn't one that addresses the same context of the previous scene. Do you hear me? No! Because that room is blast proof! Mop. Mop. And finally, one of the more simple ways to transition between scenes is to use the characters to finish each other's sentences because the safe house doesn't have a new hot tub. 50 jets, hand-hewn California redwood, no big deal. It's more of a uh, pirate fortress. Sure thing, boss man. Oh my god, for the last time. We can't. <laughs> Fight them off. God damn it, Archer. <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> These styles of cutting aren't necessarily new to film and television, as there have been other works in the past that have employed the same techniques. Here's a famous example, and see if you can guess the type of cut that's being used. Did we get Dr. E? No, sir, he got away in that rocket that looks like a huge... Penis! The male reproductive organ, also known as tallywhacker, schlong, or... Wiener? Any of you kids want another wiener? Dad, what's that? I don't know, son, but it's got great big... Nuts! Hot, salty nuts! Who wants them? Lord Almighty! That looks just like my husband's. So whilst Archer might not be the first to do so, in my opinion, it's an art form that incorporates these styles of cutting on a more regular basis. Which is also why I recommend watching the show to see these examples in action that can help give an understanding of how dialogue can not only transition between scenes, but also show how you can drive an audience through a story and create a juxtaposition of two moments for a comedic effect. Okay boys, make sure you bring the heavy stuff because these crazy ISIS bastards aren't playing. They just killed a black guy. I know, right? Welcome to America. How is that racist? <sighs> Never mind.
Jazz Hands.